Fleco, welcome back to my channel. I just want to start off by saying thank you so much for being patient and understanding about me stopping Vlogmas pretty abruptly. I wasn't feeling well, I'm feeling a lot better now. Still not 100%, but I'm feeling much better. So today's video, I'm combining two different ideas I had. So I was gonna do an Amazon gift guide video. So now we're gonna do a like a last minute Amazon gift guide video combined with I'm just gonna be making some easy cookies from Cake Mix. I've never actually done this and I've always been curious about how yummy they come out. I'm making these for my employees at work so they're gonna be getting some Christmas cookies and the recipe is super easy. So I'm just gonna be making these. I'll give you guys some gift ideas. I have my iPad here because I have both the recipe but also a lot of the gift ideas on here. So I guess I'll tell you the recipe first because it's super easy. So it's just gonna be two eggs I have here, half a cup of canola oil, and then supposedly just a box of cake mix. It seems a little too easy, but if this works and they're delicious, I'm not gonna be mad at it, that's for sure. And then I get these cute uh, Christmas mini M&Ms, green and red. You did get you. I'm excited about these. I love mini M&M's. I know that they taste the same, but I think that they taste better <laughs> when they're mini. Okay, so I think I'll do the eggs first. Hopefully, I don't make a giant mess with these eggs. Obviously, the first step is going to be to wash your hands. Please do not cook slash bake before you wash your hands because that's gross. Even if you're sure that you do not have eggshell in the bowl, just double check. It doesn't hurt to double check. I always double check. Looks like no. Just mix these up. So the first gift idea, it's actually a really great gift idea. This was one of Chanel's ideas. So it's an adapter for your iPad that allows you to plug in like an SD card. It looks like the charger and like a wireless or like when you get a wireless mouse and you have to stick the thing into the computer, it looks like you can stick that in there too, and then your headphones. So that's pretty nifty, especially if you don't have a lot of USB ports available that almost come directly in the bowl. And that would have <laughs> stunk. Some other gift ideas would be, I really would love a, I forgot to put this in my wish list video. One of those pillows, I think they're called boyfriend pillows? Not entirely sure, but the ones that are essentially so you can sit up in bed. I think it would be a really great gift for anyone if you know that they like to read in bed or if they're editing or they just like to sit up in bed, watch TV or whatever. One of those pillows could be super helpful. Next gift idea would be one of those like blackhead vacuum removal devices. I'll hopefully put pictures up, I'll remember to do that. They just have like little heads on the end of them and it's usually battery operated or you can just charge them and you just run it along your face and it sucks out the blackheads. That's a really great gift idea for anyone, male or female, that is really into skincare in your life. You could get, if you're shopping for a lady in your life, a really cute headband or something like that would be a great idea. I'll pop something up on the screen. Everything that I'm talking about, I will link below in the description. So if you're interested in anything that I'm talking about, you will be able to easily find it in the description below. So just opening the cake mix. The recipe was very specific that it had to be, well, it said it had to be Betty Crocker, but um, that it had to be like a chocolate fudge cake mix. So. In case you're trying to make these, just keep that in mind. With a regular chocolate cake mix, it might not come out the same. This smells so good. <laughs> and I do not have a mixer, so we're gonna have to do this by hand. Oh, this is another really great gift idea from Chanel. It's a surge protector, but one of the ones that plugs into the wall, rotates, and then, you know, it has all the different uh, ports you can actually plug into, but there's also some USB ports in there, so I'll put a picture up, and that's really cool. I think that's super cool. Obviously, she does too, because it was uh, her gift idea. Thank you, Chanel, for a lot of these gift ideas. <laughs> Amazon just has so many great things. You can always find something. I think that like some cute wine glasses or mugs are always a great option. This batter is getting real thick, you guys. Probably not the best to just use like a spoon, but you gotta do what you gotta do. Everybody, well, I guess not everybody, but a lot of people could use a travel mug if they like coffee or tea or even hot cocoa. They're not big coffee drinkers. So I will say that this is looking like cookie batter, but it doesn't make a whole lot. That could be problematic. <laughs> 
but I need to give some cookies to about 25 people. So I do have another box of cake mix I was gonna make, are you ready for this? Banana cream pudding cookies with mini chocolate chips, which sound delicious, but that recipe calls for milk, this one didn't. And I don't have milk. Pour these m and in. Mm. The recipe called for this whole bag, right? 12 ounces? 11 ounces, so this is smaller. But that's a lot of m and to batter ratio. Something tells me the recipe's a little off, but we'll make do. I guess you can never have too many M&Ms in your cookies. Uh, we'll find out. Another great gift idea would be an iPhone charger, or I guess a cell phone charger in general. Not everybody has an iPhone, but you should. They have those really long cell phone chargers that would be super helpful for pretty much anybody, whether you're using it at work, or we like to use the really long ones from like bed, so we have it plugged into our nightstand, but our nightstand is not, it's not super close to our bed. When we use a regular iPhone charger, it doesn't reach the bed because the bed is also just super high. So that ch charger can be super helpful. Great idea. So these actually mixed in pretty well. I mean, it's still a lot of amends, but again, not mad at it. This is very thick, sticky dough. <laughs> All right, we're gonna start putting these on the pan. These look super thick. They actually kind of seem more like brownies. So let's see how this works out. We just have a foil pan here. I bought a couple of these from the grocery store just to make my life go a little easier because I only have one like baking pan and I wanted to be able to cook more than one pan at a time. I'm gonna put these on the pan and then come back to you guys while they are baking with some more gift ideas. I don't wanna do this while I'm kind of running through my list because I don't wanna touch the iPad and then touch the cookies. All right, we are back for the time being. I have a little bit of batter left. Oh, you guys are gonna be able to see that. Just a little bit of butter left. I have two pans cooling and one in the oven for about nine minutes. So we're gonna jump back into the wish list part of this video. A really good gift idea for someone that loves coffee or loves espresso would be the Nespresso machine. Then like a frother to go along with it. This is something that is on my besties wish list. Really great gift idea. If you know someone that loves espresso, if you have somebody that, you know, maybe is a YouTuber, likes to film and needs a tripod for like their iPhone if they're using their iPhone a lot. That would be a great gift you can get right on Amazon. I will actually hopefully put up a picture and link the one that I use below. It's an iPhone tripod, fits my iPhone 11 Pro and on the top there's a ring light. I'm not using the ring light right now. I don't use it every single time, but I love it. I'm not sure how long I've had it. I've had it for at least a good few months now and it works great pretty sturdy, it gets pretty tall. I highly recommend this. If you know somebody that just loves, you know, is really into like self-care and loves being cozy, some nice fuzzy socks are always great. Um, some nice like face masks, sheet masks, things like that would be great for really anybody. I would also, this is like opposite of the Nespresso, but the Keurig machine. I know there's a lot of love-hate relationships, but I love the Keurig machine. I don't have one anymore, but I used to have like a mini version that my mom got me a few years ago. And I loved it. It was so convenient. You can get, you don't have to use like the K-cups if you want to be, you know, more environmentally friendly. You can get like the filters that you can fill with coffee and have that run through the Keurig instead of using the pre-measured cups. I do love that because sometimes not every flavor that you want comes in those like pre-measured K-cups. So you can buy literally any flavor coffee, put it in that reusable filter and then boom, Keurig. Super simple. I liked it because the one that I had had, wasn't the one that had like the tank of water that just sits there until you run through it. Um, you did have to like pour the water you wanted in in the top and then run through it made one cup at a time, which I liked because it's just me and my husband and back when I had that carrying machine when I first got it, it was just me. So I only needed to make one cup at a time. I would suggest the carrying or I guess just a coffee pot in general would be good. If you know any techies, so someone that loves having like smart house features and Alexa or something like that would be great. I have a friend who I'm pretty sure it's Alexa's. He has them throughout his home and he has these smart bulbs that are like hooked up to that. Like you can tell Alexa to turn lights on and off. There are some that turn 
fun colors that are pretty cool. I'm not really into Alexa, but the smart bulbs and like the colorful, if you get like pink light bulbs, that's appealing to me. <laughs> because I'm five, obviously. So if you know someone that would really love that, basically if you see someone using like Siri all the time, that will be a good indicator they would love having one of those smart home devices. I think some really fun gift ideas would be like those adult coloring books. If you know someone that is like stressed out or just loves kind of, you know, maybe coloring while they're watching TV or like meditating while they're coloring. A lot of people do do that. If you're someone or you know someone that can't just like sit there and do nothing and like calm themselves in their minds, a lot of the time like the just the act of coloring, whether you're doing it well or not, is just calming and makes you focus on something that's not stressful instead of letting your mind kind of go haywire. But they have some really funny ones I will link in the description on Amazon. I've actually bought one for a friend. She thought it was hilarious. It was like swear words or like calm the F down or something like that. It was like for anxiety and stress. So I think they're really fun. There are also these fun calendars. I think they're for like white elephant like gag gifts, but they can still be pretty funny, I think. I found one that was like pooping pooches and I thought it was hilarious and I did almost send it to somebody, but I decided against it. But if you, you know, do a white elephant gift swap or you just want to give somebody a funny gift, check that out. I would say definitely look into getting a diffuser for somebody. If you know someone in your life that loves common sense and you already know that they enjoy candles a lot, they'll probably enjoy a diffuser. Get them some nice oils with it. I don't think you can ever go wrong with some cozy slippers or a nice robe. Back and the rest of the batter is now in the oven making the cookies. We have some that are finished and they look super cute. I'm gonna try one before I get back into wish list ideas and just kind of let you know what I think. They're pretty cool. They're very soft and fudgy. And they're definitely a little bit more on the brownie side, but not in a bad way. These are actually very tasty. I thought these were gonna be like sickly sweet and they're not. These are very good. Try these. Back to the gift ideas. I think a really nice gift idea would be one of those like water bottles where you can put fruit in the middle part so that it doesn't float free in the water, but it just kind of infuses the water with the flavors of whatever you put in there. Instead of drinking plain water all the time, you can put some strawberries and mango, whatever you want in there, and then you just have like delicious water. <laughs> if you have anybody that, you know, that likes to entertain a lot, a charcuterie board would be a fantastic idea. Great, cute ones on Amazon, link them below. If you have someone in your life that loves to cuss, loves to be sarcastic, they have these really funny coasters that I think they're like, don't F up my table or something like that. I'll put a picture. I think they're really funny and they would be a great little guy gift or a gift to any guy in your life that maybe has like a man cave that they can keep them down in. An electric wine opener would be a lovely idea for the wine lover in your life. You could give the wine opener with a nice bottle of wine or give the wine opener with a nice you know, wine glass that you found on Amazon. I saw these rechargeable hand warmers on Amazon the other day that looked fantastic. I'm not even gonna lie. I think it would be a great gift idea. I would have put it on my own wish list if I knew that it existed. Any kind of makeup brushes, I have purchased two different sets from Amazon. I do like one more than the other and that's the one that I will link below and that will be the picture that I show you. I think makeup brushes are always a great idea for gifts. I think getting games would be a great gift idea. I think this is gonna be my last gift idea, by the way, I'm starting to run out of ideas. You know, I have my iPad here. I only wanna suggest things that I either already love or a friend has told me they love or want or that I would actually see myself giving. My husband and I love games. Our friends, most of our friends love games, like big like board games or like, party games like Cards Against Humanity and that kind of thing. So I would recommend Cards Against Humanity, the voting game, even things like Clue can be really fun and get really competitive when you're playing with a group of people. I think that is all the gift ideas I have for today. My brain is still kind of mush from not feeling well. Thank you guys so much for watching, tuning into this gift guide, and you for baking with me. Please give this video a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you if you already are, and I will see you in my next video.